It's so fetch. 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 She doesn't even go here. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. My favorite one is, um, hey Janice, what's your wig made out of? Your mom's chest hair. <laughs> but I remember that moment from the movie and being like, that is a bad ass woman. Tina like has some awesomely like updated jokes. I think it still resonates with everybody. She's so smart and really sort of wrote the show for us when she was creating it. Now that's a party. A I loved Mean Girls when it came out. I definitely was one of like the people that watched it five million times, like over and over and over again. It insinuated itself so deeply into our culture so quickly and so seamlessly that it's hard for me to remember when these idioms and, and these like phrases weren't a part of our pop culture. It's also one of the first times I saw like an openly gay teenager on like the big screen. And Damien was so unapologetically himself and is, and that's why people I think like him, and that's why I like him. It was like something I had to learn to embrace and I think Damien in a weird way helped me do that. Bullying, female social hierarchies. It was the first movie, book, anything that I had ever seen that took that really seriously. It was the first movie I ever saw that really made me feel validated and everything that I was feeling. I think the biggest thing that's changed from the movie to the stage version is what's changed in the high school experience in general, which is that kids just see everything now. They're aware of what all their peers are doing at all times because of our phones. But we were so saved from sort of getting stuck because the scripts are different. And so I never felt like I had to go in and do like an, imp an impression of the film. I always felt like I was able to come in and do it my own way. It's a cautionary tale, but it's not um, like PBS after school special. It's not like we're gonna tell you a story about a girl who went down the wrong path, but it's just funny. So you digest the moral and the lesson of the story, but it doesn't feel like you're watching something that's trying to be preachy, which is, you know, what Tina Fey is really good at. I know they know the